Hi, I'm Jamie Cox. Today we're going to learn how to photograph shiny tombstones while getting rid of those pesky reflections. I made a previous YouTube video called Photograph Tombstones with Off-Camera Flash. That video was to help with photos of old, worn tombstones. After you watch this, if you still have questions about the camera and flash setup, watch that video. It goes into more detail. The tombstones in today's video are usually modern and the inscriptions are clearly readable, if only you could get rid of those pesky reflections. You're going to need some equipment for this. I'd love to tell you how to do this with a cell phone camera, but I don't think there's a way to do that. You need some way to trigger a very bright flash in sync with your camera. So you'll need a camera with a hot shoe. It will probably be a DSLR or one of the new mirrorless cameras. Then you'll need an external flash and some way to trigger it remotely. Some newer cameras have built-in wireless flash control. Otherwise, you can use a wireless trigger like you see here. The trigger has two parts, one for the camera and one for the flash. Triggers can be had for cheap. Check online. I'm going to recommend manual mode for this. There may be other methods that work, but I have tested this and it should work on any camera. Set your shutter speed to 1 200th of a second. Set your aperture to f20. Set the ISO to 100. Do not leave the ISO on automatic. That will cause overexposure problems. If your camera doesn't have ISO 100, use the lowest setting, say ISO 125. Manually set your flash for full power. If your photos are not exposed properly with these settings, I would adjust the f-stop to make the correction. The camera and flash positions are the real trick to this method. You want the light from your flash to strike the stone at about a 45 degree angle. Do not let the camera or the flash get too close to the stone. About 5 feet back will prevent glare on reasonable sized headstones. The flash should be about the same height above the ground as the camera. Since the headstone is shiny, it will reflect your flash. You need to be conscious of where that reflected light goes. If it strikes the camera, you will get glare. If it illuminates a nearby object such as a bush, that object's reflection could become visible in the photo. Here's an example of what this method can do for your photos. These were taken the same day with the same camera you will see a little bit of glare on the left side of the after photo. I didn't keep the flash far enough back to completely prevent the, the glare. Lesson learned. Here's another before and after shot. These two photos are of the same monument. The before shot was taken at an odd angle to try to minimize the reflections. For the after photo, I could shoot the photo straight on without fear of reflections. You might wonder how the flash gets rid of the reflections. It doesn't really. The reflections are still there, but now they are so dim you can't really notice them.